Read all the stories you want to about Sri Lanka's president. One word that stands out is controversial. Few leaders divide opinion like Gotepe Rajapaksa does. His political career is a clear case of glass half empty or half full. He is credited for the end of the LTTE and a 30-year long war. He is also accused of war crimes and for crippling Sri Lanka's economy. So who exactly is Nandasena Gotepe Rajapaksa? He is known as Terminator, a nickname he was given for crushing the LTTE. Gotepeya was born in a prominent political family in Sri Lanka's southern district of Matara. He joined the Ceylon army in 1971. Soon after, he led the fight against the liberation tigers of Tamil Elam. After retiring from the army, he studied information technology and worked in the U.S. as a systems administrator. Over three decades later, Gotepeya Rajapaksa was the man at the helm. A lot of credit goes to his elder brother and former president Mahinda Rajapaksa. When Mahinda ran for presidency in 2005, Gotapaya returned from the US to help him. Sri Lanka was a nation full of conflict in the first decade of this millennium. Multiple efforts at a prolonged ceasefire failed. Negotiations between the Sri Lankan government and LTTE led to nowhere and the national security suffered due to ethnic tensions. Mahinda installed Gotapaya as the defense minister and carried out a ruthless war on the LTTE. Sri Lanka won the civil war in 2009 after the death of the LTTE leader Prabhakaran. For the majority community in Sri Lanka, Gotapaya is a war hero, but for others, he is a war criminal. Rajapaksa came to power on a manifesto promising vistas of prosperity and splendor. But it was his policies that wrecked the country's economy. The former soldier marketed his lack of political expertise as a virtue. But his apparent strength was actually his weakness. His lack of political knowledge showed in the way he worked. He flip-flopped from one crisis to another. Rajapaksa's tenure was marked by policy U-turns. Critics say he revoked more than a hundred government decrees. This earned him the name Gazette Rivers. But how did the situation get so bad? There are multiple reasons for this. First, there was rampant economic mismanagement. Then there were ill-timed tax cuts. And the pandemic was the final nail in the coffin. Under Rajapaksa, Sri Lanka defaulted on its foreign debt for the first time in April. The country declared bankruptcy and inflation soared in June. The first once prosperous country recorded its worst recession and protests broke out across the island nation. People wanted him out. Hashtag Gota Go Home became a trending hashtag on social media. For Sri Lanka's influential Buddhist clergy, he was the reincarnation of Sinhalese warrior king Dutogemunu the Great. Dutogemunu reigned for 24 years, but Rajapaksa fled less than three years into his rule, and his resignation will make him Sri Lanka's shortest lived directly elected president. We are now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.